this is the Ship Simulator Extremes. And this is following on from our previous Steam uh, game on Steam, which was Cube. And this is also free as the demo which we're playing, so um, let's head right on in. We can only do a single mission, so I'm sure this whole series isn't going to be long. Okay, so let's uh, crack on with Demo Mission Tourist. So, um, apparently it's really easy. And we're in Sydney. And the description reads, In Sydney, the company organises an evening tour around the harbour with specific calls at the magnificent opera house, The Rocks, Darling Island and more. A harbour boat trip by means of a fast craft to explore the whole area in a short time. Okay, so, um, let's go. Okay, so yeah, this is um, part of these free Steam demo um, series that we've um, started with our second game, this is. And uh, we're going to be doing some other free stuff. Now, there is quite a few different uh, free things that we can do, and maybe some we might get the paid versions. However, we're trying to keep it on a level with what you guys will probably be able to uh, do, because I'm sure you'd probably just go on the demo to start with. And so you can see how we've done it, and then if you're liking it, then you might as well uh, go on ahead. But because we do so many, there's not much point in us actually uh, buying them. Um, because, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how long this uh, loading time is going to take, hopefully, not too long. And I'm not sure if or how much it would lag. In Cube, there was like no lag, but apparently, this game is more graphic intensive. So, uh, it needs more to, uh, run as smoothly. So, uh, yeah, uh, we might be on this boat, I don't know, this looks like the Vermas, the ADF transport, and, uh, this is one of the cargo ships. Now, I, I quite like simulators, uh, gaming simulators, like, um, I'm a big fan of, um, flight simulators and I like the train sims as well because uh, they're pretty fun and oh it looks like the bar at the bottom is our actual loading bar it's just popped up at about 30% but yeah I've um I might unfortunately there isn't a demo of the rail simulator 2012 because uh, that looks like amazing um however I can imagine the difficulty would be is it's there's only so much fun you can get out of a simulator. If it's free, that's fine. Because then, if, you, uh, if you've if you had enough, then you just delete it. That's fine. But if you've paid for it, you sort of have to use it, really. Because this, uh, you might as well, since you've actually paid good money, to um, go on the game. Some of the things on Steam are ridiculously expensive. Uh, like a game that we are going to do for the demo, but not the full version, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's like £31, and considering these aren't like major games, then I don't see how they can make it so expensive. Cube, I believe, is about £11 brand new, um, as a probably a direct download from Steam, and that is fair enough, really, they're just an indie developer, just like Minecraft, that was came out originally only being like £2.50 but now of course that's gone up to about I think 30 quid now so you're looking at a lot more than it really anything of an indie developer an indie game above about 30 you just think well is there any point considering that there's probably an alternative by a major uh, company that I know I'll almost definitely like so uh, you just got to bear that in mind really now this really is taking an exceptionally long time, and I might have to pause it if it gets beyond too much longer, but it looks like it's fully done, but uh, it hasn't, and that little wheel in the middle of the screen usually means that it's crashed, which would be really annoying. And hopefully, oh no, we're in some musics, oh hang on, it's gone white, oh hang on, what? Okay. I can tell you now, this will lag. A lot. Okay. Take a photo. 
photo. Um, Not sure if we're really going anywhere. We don't seem to be moving very much. Uh, okay, we're getting a bit further now. This is lagging quite bad. I didn't really think it would take so much uh, graphics, but either way, we're going to play it for about ten, up to ten minutes. And then if it's just use, uh, too slow, then we may not be able to do too much more on it. Okay. Now we're on 100% and we're going to be pulling away. There must be a way to go faster, I would have thought. But um, I don't know. Okay, right, we're going to head up the um, harbour, the Darling Harbour, as it's called. Um, Heading out into the harbour. Now I haven't even checked the controls, so I don't even know if I can go faster at all. I wonder if the anchor's in. do any of these things here mean? Okay. Okay, no. Okay, we've put the anchor in. We don't want to do that. Quick. I don't actually know. Uh, that's okay. Hang on. The things actually appear after about three hours on the screen. Um, that's towing. We don't want to tow anything yet. And there's no need to push. So, um, no, I don't think we need any of that. So, let's just hit that off. Okay. We're apparently... Travelling at 37 knots. Now, I don't even think that's right. Oh, I did expect my computer to be fast enough to run this, but obviously not. I'm upgrading it soon, guys, so there won't be any lag. But for the moment, it's uh, it's not fantastic. The uh, specs have got only 3 gig RAM, which is nowhere near enough to be running high-end games. Um, I'm going to be upgrading to 8 gig, uh, getting a desktop computer, gaming rig thing, soon. Um, you probably can't see much going on. Nothing <laughs> seems to change. Okay. Well, it's just hit 10 minutes. I'm probably going to stop the video, and then I'm going to see if I can make it run any faster, and just see um, a 
about it. Yeah, so um, thanks guys for watching, and we'll probably, there may or may not be another episode. I might try to get one out if I can of this, but there's no guarantee. So uh, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.